Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Fox. In this video, I will be talking about quadratic equations. In this topic, we will look into solving quadratic equation with a square root rule, solving quadratic equation by factoring, and solving quadratic equation with a quadratic formula. To continue, let us define quadratic equations. It says on the screen, quadratic equations are a special type of equation in which the highest exponent on any variable is 2. For example, 3x squared minus 36 is equals to 0. Okay, The exponent of x is 2. 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. And the highest exponent of variable x is also 2. And the third one, x squared is equal to 4. Now, depending on the form of the equation, quadratic equations can be solved using the square root rule, factoring, or the quadratic formula and uh, we will be looking at different examples and steps on how to use the square root rule factoring or the quadratic formula in solving the equation let's start with solving quadratic equation with a square root rule when a quadratic equation has a single square term and no other variables, the square root rule is the fastest way to solve it. And the square root rule says that fc is any positive number and x squared is equal to c, then x is equal to the square root of c or negative the square root of c. Now, the square root rule gives two solutions because anytime a negative is squared, it gives a positive, right? For instance, if you know that a number squared is 4, there is no way to know if the original number was 2 or negative 2. Or it could be either. 2 or negative 2. Let's try an example. Solve for x. x squared is equal to 9. By the way, we use uh, square root rule again if an equation has a single square term and no other variables. x squared is equal to 9. Uni using the square root rule, we have x is equal to the square root of 9 and x is equal to the negative square root of 9. To simplify, the answer is x is equal to 3 and negative 3. Let's try another example. 5x squared is equal to 20. Now, in this case, we need to undo the multiplication first. So, to undo the multiplication, we need to divide uh, both sides by 5. So, we have x squared is equal to 4. Then, using the square root rule, we have x is equal to the square root of 4 and x is equal to negative the square root of 4. So the final answer is x is equal to 2 and negative 2. Another example, x squared minus 5 is equal to 3. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to undo the subtraction. 
Okay, to undo the subtraction, we can add 5 to both sides. So we have uh, minus 5 plus 5 is 0 and 3 plus 5 is 8. So we have x squared is equals to 8. So using the square root rule, we have x is equals to the square root of 8 or x is equals to negative the square root of 8. Then the final answer is x is equals to 2 the square root of 2 or negative 2 the square root of 2. Another thing is it is also possible to use the square root rule with more complicated equations. In some cases, it may be that a larger term is squared. Even then, the rule still applies. Let's look at another example. Solve for x. x minus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to, to 16. Because the subtraction is on the inside of the square, use the square root rule first. So use the square root rule. We have x minus 1 is equal to the square root of 16. And another, x minus 1 is equal to negative the square root of 16. So we have x minus 1 is equal to 4 or x minus 1 is equal to negative 4. These steps result in two equations, but both can be solved by undoing the subtraction. So let's undo the subtraction. So the first one is, we can undo subtraction by adding 1 on both sides of the equation, okay, for the two equations. So the final answer is, x is equal to 5 or negative 3. Okay, let's proceed to steps in solving quadratic equation by factoring. To solve quadratic equation by factoring, let me introduce to you four steps. Okay, step one, move terms to one side of the equation if necessary. The equation should be in a form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are numbers. Step two, factor the quadratic equation. Step three, set each factor equal to zero. Step four, solve the two resulting equations. The result will be the final answer. Let's apply the steps in solving quadratic equation by factoring using an example. Solve for x. x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Step 1 says move terms to one side of the equation if necessary. But in this case, all of the terms are already on one side of the equation. So we can skip this. This is step. Step 2, factor the quadratic equation. So factoring the quadratic equation, we have x minus 9 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. Then step 3, set each factor equal to, to 0. So each factor should be equal to 0. So we have x minus 9 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Then step 4, solve the two resulting equation. So the result will be the final answer. So x is equal to 9 and x is equal to negative 4. Let's try another example. Solve for x. x squared plus x is equal to 2. So step 1, move all the terms in 1 side of the equation. So we have x squared plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then step 2, factor the quadratic equation. So we have x minus 1 times x plus 2. 
step three, set each factor equal to zero. So we have x minus one is equal to zero, x plus two is equal to zero. Then step four, solve the two result equation. So x is equal to one and x is equal to negative two. Another way of uh, solving quadratic equation is by using the quadratic formula. Now, looking at the looking at the quadratic formula, it looks uh, complicated. However, it's easy because it's just a matter of plugging in numbers and simplifying. Okay. Now, to be able to use the quadratic formula. The equation should be in this form. Ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. The symbol in the numerator of the fraction is called a plus minus symbol. This symbol means that there are actually two answers. One is with a plus sign and one is with a minus sign. Now let, let me introduce to you the steps for using this formula. So step one, first is identify A, B, and C on the quadratic equation. Step two, plug A, B, and C into the formula and simplify. Step three, use the plus and the minus to show the two final answers. Now let's apply the procedure, the steps, in an example. Okay, solve for x. 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So step 1, a is 2, b is negative 3, and c is equal to 1. Step 2, plugging in the values, then simplify. Then step 3, Use the plus and the minus to show the two final answer. So x is equal to 3 plus 1 over 4. The answer is 1. And x is equal to 3 minus 1 over 4 is equal to 2 4 or 1 half. So the final answer is x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 half. Let's try another example. Solve for x. 6x squared plus 11x plus 3. Step 1, identify a, b, and c. So we have a is equal to 6, b is equal to 11, and c is equal to 3. Step 2, plug in all the values of a, b, c of the formula and simplify. Then we have minus 11 plus in a minus 7 all over 12. Step 3, use the plus and the minus to show the two final answers. So we have x is equal to minus 11 plus 7 all over 12 is equal to minus 4 over 12 simplified to negative 1 over 3. And the second one, x is equal to negative 11 minus 7 over 12 is equals to negative 18 over 12 and so the final answer is negative 3 over 2 so we have x is equals to negative 1 over 3 and x is equals to negative 3 over 2 another example is solve for x x squared minus 8x plus 4 is equal to 0 step 1 Identify the value of a, b, and c. So we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 8, and c is equal to 4. Step 2, plug in all the values of a, b, c on the formula and then simplify. After simplifying, we have 4 plus in a minus 2 the square root of 3. Step 3, Use the plus and the minus to show the two final answer. So we have 4 plus 2 the square root of 3 and 4 minus 2 the square root of 3. 
but since we cannot uh, simplify them further so the final answer is x is equals to 4 plus 2 the square root of 3 and 4 minus 2 the square root of 3 now let's proceed to simple drill okay solving quadratic equation direction is solve each of the following equation for x square root rule 2x squared is equals 32 and x plus 2 squared is equals to 4 then factoring x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equals 0 x squared minus 9x is equals to negative 18 then use quadratic formula x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0 and 6x squared plus x minus 2 is equals to 0 now at this point you can pause the video and then solve the quadratic equations if uh, you are unsure with uh, the procedure the steps of using the square root rule factoring or quadratic formula you can uh, you can go back on on the previous uh, slides on this video okay finish here are the answers okay you can pause the video and check your answer okay that's the end of our video if you have any question if you have any comments if you have any clarifications or if you did not understand parts of the presentation you can comment below and if you want to know more about our school and our programs and how we can help you you can visit www.phuketpals.org or you can contact us on our Facebook, Phuket Pals, or you can call us on 081-417-0978.